box box things uh, that I get and uh, super excited I'm trying to see if I can get this live stream to pull up but it's not gonna do it so we are gonna get started so uh, you see that slime donkey right there t-shirts coming out next week get you some all right hold on what is that all right so <clears throat> stopped to Walmart on the way home and picked up a couple things uh, I had a knife there it is and picked up some black and blue UV tight lines beaver style four inch and also picked up some Havoc craw fatties. I really wish it wasn't backwards. Um, let's see if we can't, but then I can't see what y'all are saying. So it's just gonna have to be backwards for now. Um, so really excited about these baits. I'm ready to do some flipping this summer and uh, check out this bait. That is awesome. Look at that craw, that purple and green fleck. Uh, that's, that's gonna be a good bait for sure. So we're going to start with the LT, the, why did I put LTB when it's MTB? I'll fix it. I have not opened it yet, so we're going to see what is in here. What do I expect? Let's see what we got here. Let's see. It's supposed to be a card in here. That's the dibbles. And they're supposed to be, there we go. Here's our card. What's well, inside? Live target, sunfish, 1349, suspending crankbait, RGD series from Baker Lure, 749, boom boom swim bait, Altima baits, 550. Twin tail trailer from Lake Lunkers, intruder from Bruiser Base. Twin tails three nineteen. Bruiser is four forty nine. The Mustad Powerlock plus nine at five thirty three. Live target, always a good color. Uh, sunfish. I actually have uh, another one in my bag. Um, that's that's a pretty. Pretty sweet color. Sweet. All right, so that's the $13. Weedless swim bait panic to action. This thing is a hog. Look at the size of this bait. It looks good. I don't, I don't exactly know how it's gonna do in the water. Uh, thank you for tuning in, I appreciate it. Um, there's the, the nine, the nine ot hooks. Those are massive. Nine, I, I can honestly say that I have never used uh, a nine ot hook for anything. Um, <laughs> that's that going to be interesting. All right, here's the Baker Lures uh, crankbait. I really like this color. Uh, let's see how deep it dives. Seven to ten feet. That's a good color. That sand belly, the orange on the belly, the brown on the back. That might actually be a good color for uh, for Harris. Um, these are the Twin Tail Lake Lunkers custom baits, Twin Tail trailers. I'm interested to see what they look like. Got some some serious uh, serious action going on there. Some long tails. They just smell salted. Don't see any garlic scent. Is there garlic scent infused with our secret scent? It is formulated to drive bass nuts. Okay. Cool. Next, 
we have these. Oh, I actually just bought some of these. Uh, something like that uh, at Walmart. Bruiser Baits. It's almost like a sapphire blue. It doesn't have a color. That's a pretty sweet. I like the, I like the slim profile. How those are not giant craw claws. It's really, really slim. A nice compact bait. Um, the chatter bait jig. Um, flipping. Good, good compact bait for that. So sweet. Well, oh, and I got this groovy sticker. Catch Co. Sweet. All right, cool. Well, that was the uh, Mystery Tackle Box Pro. So, I'm excited to get that out uh, this week. So, as you know, I signed on with Ardent. And uh, i got to have a drink. Because when I get thirsty, I drink like a rock star. So, anyways. Um, I signed on with Ardent Reels and Rods Company. They sent me this groovy hat. I apologize for being backwards. Uh, I don't have, uh, if I flip it around, I can't see uh, if anybody says anything. I don't know uh, if anybody can, uh, but we are going to uh, keep on going. Um, I picked up some of these gloves from Walmart. Uh, I was out fishing and let me, I was out fishing and Somehow, I lost one of these gloves. Uh, I don't even see a... Oh, it's a medium-large. I really hope these are going to fit. These look really small. If I crimp... Oh, okay. Cool. Sweet. So, they're open, but it's got this little glove pocket that you can keep your hands warm or do a little, do a little boxing if you want to. Um... So then they hit, they got me, uh, they sent me another uh, a shirt, a blue ardent, uh, like a self-waking shirt. You may have seen it. Uh, I was wearing it. And uh, I picked up some reels. If I can get them. I picked up an ardent Apex Elite 5 3 to 1 cranking reel. I picked up an Ardent Magnum 6.5 to 1. The hole is a lot more line bigger for like a swim bait. It's like a swim bait that I got in my mystery tackle box. And the Ardent Apex Pro. So I'm going to put those back over there and pull out the actual rods with the reels on them so you can see. Um, this one is the, the, the Ardent Apex Elite 5 3 to 1 gear ratio. Really, really nice reel. Um, I've got 15 pound P line floral clear uh, on this um, on a medium heavy. I know uh, this is the, uh, this is the, the swim bait rod uh, or the, the heavy cranking rod. That's a 7 6 um, with a fast tip. So I got the Apex, or yeah, Ardent Apex Elite 5, 3 to 1. And then I picked up these rods are next. I've got, I got a few rods in here that I need to get out of the package. And then I need to clean up my mess. Um, so those are going to come, these are going to come out next. So I got that rod, that reel. And then I picked up a Ardent, this is the Magnum, the Ardent Apex Magnum. This is the 6.5 to 1. Oversized spool. Um, I can throw uh, quite a ways with this reel. Uh, really, really nice, uh, smooth action uh, when I cast it. And then I picked up the, I think this is the Pro. Yeah, the Ardent Apex Pro. 7 3 to 1 gear ratio, really, really nice. A nice reel. Um, use that for like flipping and heavy cover on a 7 foot 
uh, medium fast tip rod. And okay, so now we're gonna get into these rods. I actually, uh, these were back ordered. Uh, that's how much they've been uh, in demand. So we're gonna open it up. If I can get it open. We got some heavy duty staples in here, boys and girls. Man, they're not playing around, are they? All right, so there's that one. Here's this one. I just found out I got some tour dates confirmed in New York uh, for the end of August. So if any of my subscribers are up in upstate New York and you want to get together and uh, slaughter some hogs, some slime donkeys, then uh, shoot me shoot me a message, and uh, I'd love to go fishing with you. So we got some rods here. Can I get them out? I'm gonna have to use a saw. I got a seven six in here, a seven four, so it's a. Uh, A bit on the big side. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sweet. Cool. All right. So I'm going to pull these out. But keep going. Keep going. That's it. I got three rods. Sweet. All right. Here we go. So we have the Arnett Pro Series Denny Brower. They sent me four. They sent me four rods. Sweet. Did they send me four rods? They did. Sweet. They sent me four rods, y'all, that I ordered. I don't think I ordered four. <laughs> hey, that's, that's awesome. Sweet. All right, so we're going to start with... Let's start with whichever one gets open first. All right, so this one... Oh, maybe these are nice. 7.2 medium heavy, 8 to 14 pounds, uh, half ounce to one and a half ounce uh, bait. Nice line guides. Nice split cork handle. Packaged them up real nice. I just don't want to break them. Break the rod tip. All right, so nice. Oh, that's a nice rod. Nice rod. 7.2 Pro Series. Seven two medium heavy. That's a nice rod. I think that's a spinner bait rod. Really nice. So there's the first one. All right, rod number two. We have this has got a nice. A nice fast tip on it, I can feel already. Ardent Pro Series 7.6 Medium. Eight 
eighth ounce to three eighths ounce, seven six medium. Nice, another split cork handle, Denny Brower. Man, what a fast, fast tip. I'd almost be tempted to use this for a, a shaky head or a drop shot. This is 7.6. Nice split handle. I love how the rod, when you hold it, it actually extends to my elbow to get a good, a nice, heavy hook set on it. That's a nice rod. 7.6. Okay. What's next? The cranking stick. This is the one I've been waiting for. For those deep cranking situations when you got to get below, uh, really below 13 feet. Um, here in North Carolina, we got a lot of deep holes and, uh, and some of our legs. And it's nice to be able to get the distance that you need to throw a rod with an extremely fast tip as well. This is a, like I said, this is a, a 7.6. Um, really, really nice split cork handle again. Very, very good uh, grip for casting. It's got a nice thick back end and it's got a nice taper so I can really, I can really launch this thing out there uh, and get some distance that I need. Um, that's, that's a nice ride too. And last, but certainly not least, I got a 7.4 medium heavy. I think this is the frog rod. You tell that I'm some. This is the frog rod. This is a beast of a rod. I'm gonna talk about thick. Look at the beef. Look at the thickness of this rod. Nice uh, ounce, a half ounce to one and a half ounce. It's got extremely fast tip. Um, really, really nice rod for um, throwing frogs or a top water, um, like a walking um, a walking bait uh, to get some really, really good. Uh, action on the uh, on the frog or the the bait that you're using um, yeah seven four medium heavy eight to 14 pounds another another really really nice rod uh, by Ardent. so I ended up grabbing four rods all different applications uh, the majority of them uh, are longer. Uh, seven two seven four seven six um, spinner bait yeah spinner bait crank bait I got two of the uh, two of the crank bait rods so I can put different crank baits on and immediately be able to switch up something that I've learned uh, so yeah absolutely awesome awesome rods thank you ardent. Um, for being a part of, uh, of my fishing endeavors uh, and making great rods and great gear. Um, really, really looking forward to getting those out on the lake. Um, something that I've noticed is that some, sometimes if you throw a crankbait and you get it out there and you catch a few fish and it's great, for some reason they stop biting. Why? I don't know. But I found that if you have another crankbait tied on, and you fire right back into that school, there's a good possibility that you can get them fired up again and you can catch more fish. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to I think uh, Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to be going to Heiko Lake, which if any of you have been out to Heiko Lake um, in North Carolina, you know that it's a power plant lake. And it spans about the majority of the time throughout the year right around 60 degrees, which is super, super awesome. Um, but I think that uh, from what I understand, March is prime time to go to Heiko Lake. So 
I'm really looking forward to getting out there and seeing what kind of fish we can get into. Um, but yeah, awesome, awesome uh, unboxing. Um, this uh, this Ardent spinning reel uh, that I have is, is super, super cool. Um, this is the reel that I caught the fish on um, this past week. And uh, I put the... Um, I put the uh, line on, this is the Gliss, 12 pound Gliss. Um, I put it on a really, really uh, nice rod. This is actually another uh, another 7.6 um, medium. It's got an extra, extra fast tip. And I'm telling you if, you, if you get some of this line, I know it looks funny and I know you might be a little apprehensive, but man, this 12 pound Gliss I'm gonna show you, look at the diameter. Look how thin, look how thin this line is. You can, you can barely even see it, but this is 12 pound breaking strength. And I put this on that little three, what is it, three sixteenths? I put it on this owner, I'll show you in a second. Put it on this owner. Yeah, three sixteenths, uh, four ot, shaky head, and this bait with this hook uh, launched. I got it hung up in the trees uh, quite a few times, and <laughs> so the line was really, really good. Uh, I was really surprised, and definitely, definitely going to be getting more. Um, but thank you for watching uh, this first um, mystery tackle box unboxing. And uh, I'm a little disappointed uh, in, in what was in there, but it's a lot of the draw. You know, you get, you get to try new things and, and fish with baits you never fished with. I might try to, uh, at some point this weekend, try to go out and try to catch uh, some fish with these baits. So... There's my rods and there's my, my reels that I showed you. Slime Donkey t-shirts are available. Shoot me a message and get you some. I love you guys. Thank you for spending 22 minutes with me uh, for those that watch the entire thing. Also wanted to let everybody know, uh, last time I checked, I had 55 subscribers. So, we've got 45 more subscribers before I will be giving this reel. It's not even out of the package yet. I'm going to be giving this reel away. And, yeah, I bet low battery. What else is new? This reel is the first Slime Donkey t-shirt. Long sleeve, limited edition. And, uh... That's going to be the first giveaway. I'm super stoked. I want to get to 500 uh, subscribers. I'm going to be giving away a baitcaster combo, um, probably an ardent uh, baitcasting combo, not one of the cheap ones. Uh, it's definitely going to be a one of the Denny Brower, one of these Denny Brower rods, really, really good rods. Um, I like that little blue. See that blue carbon fiber design? That's awesome. It's definitely going to be one of these rods. So subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. Share my uh, YouTube channel with somebody. Um, I just enjoy making videos and taking y'all with me wherever I go. And like always, you already know the deal. Live long, love hard, catch fish. Peace.